we're asked to evaluate each polynomial for the given value of the variable. Number one, we have four x cubed minus five x plus seven for x equals negative two. The first step is to substitute at negative two for x, so we'll substitute negative two here and here. Performing the substitution, we would have four times the cube of negative two minus five times negative two plus seven. And now we simplify using the order of operations. So for the next step, we simplify the exponents. Negative two cubed is equal to three factors of negative two, which equals negative eight. So we have four times negative eight minus five times negative two plus seven. Next step, multiply. Four times negative eight equals negative thirty-two. And then we have minus five times negative two is equal to negative ten. So we have minus negative ten, which is the same as plus positive ten. We can also view this as negative five times negative two, which is positive ten, and just write plus ten. And we still have plus seven. Let's go ahead and write minus negative ten as plus ten. So we have negative thirty-two plus ten plus seven. Adding from left to right, negative thirty-two plus ten is equal to negative twenty-two, and negative twenty-two plus seven is equal to negative fifteen. Number two, we want to evaluate the polynomial when y equals four. We begin by substituting four for y here and here. Performing the substitution, we would have negative three-fourths times four raised to the fourth power plus two times four squared, or four raised to the second power. And now we evaluate the expression using the order of operations. We first simplify the exponents. Four raised to the fourth power is equal to four factors of four, which equals 256. So we have negative three-fourths times 256 plus two times four squared is equal to two factors of four, which equals 16. Next we multiply, but notice how here we can simplify before multiplying, because four and 256 share a common factor of four. As a fraction, 256 would have a denominator of one. There's one four and four and 64 fours in 256. So you have negative three times 64, which equals negative 192 plus two times 16 is equal to 32. And finally, negative 192 plus 32 is equal to negative 160. I hope you found this helpful.